Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka. And I'm your co-host, EJ Kimura. Now, let's dive into the latest buzz in the world of beauty, fashion and lifestyle. These are the headlines. Victoria's Secret Fashion Show returns with a comeback amid controversy and change. Stormzy sparks romance rumors with Victoria Monet after Maya Jama split. Didi celebrates daughter's birthday from behind bars amid serious charges. And in our trending segment, the Victoria's Secret fashion show is making a comeback after being cancelled in 2019 due to backlash over its previous exclusionary practices and a culture of misogyny. The brand, which first debuted its runway show in 1995, is rebranding with a focus on diversity and inclusivity. This year, they are featuring larger models like Paloma El Cesar and Ali Tate Cutler, as well as the first transgender model, Valentina Sampio, in an effort to promote body positivity. Chair is set to perform live during the show, which highlights a significant shift in the brand's approach. Despite these changes, the brand still faces challenges in distancing itself from past controversies, including ties to Jeffrey Epstein and allegations of promoting unhealthy body types. The inclusion of well-known models like Ashley Graham, Adriana Lima, Gigi Hadid and others aim to address these issues and showcase a broader presentation of beauty on the runway. The success of this rebranding effort remains to be seen as the fashion industry continues to evolve and demand more inclusive practices. Yeah, I like that it, you yes. know, had a very good comeback. Yes. I really love, love the comeback. Mm -hmm. I love that, you know, Gigi uh, was one of the people who, you know, were yes. there, you yes. know. And I don't know why people are saying, oh, we're so happy we didn't see Kendall Jenner. And I don't, I don't know. know why they have against the title. <laughs> But they, I mean, they can't. I mean, it's she's just one of the new generation models. Yeah. And we also saw um, the likes of Tyra Banks. Yes. I mean, yes. Tyra is someone that, you know, people criticize a lot yes. because of, you know, the show and how she was uh, judging it and yes. how she was criticizing, you she know, the mean. body images yeah. of a lot of ladies. Yeah. So they're like, why are we having her on the Victoria's yeah. Secret yeah. show? You, you know, know, she used to make them cut their hair. I yeah. think it really messed with their self mm -hmm. you know, esteem. So mm -hmm. their fashion shows, everybody used to want to watch it. So yeah. I'm happy they were able to rebrand and come back. And yeah. I just hope the mistakes don't happen again. Yeah, and I'm happy that, you know, they've infused things like, you know, having a transgender yes. and, you know, including different body types yes. or like before where, oh, you had to be a certain Skinny. size. You had to, you know, look oh. a certain way before you walk the Victoria's yes. Secret model. Yes. So I'm happy that they're doing that. And I hope that it continue to be very inclusive of, you know, women with different body Definitely. types. And I hope they're real about it because, you know, some brands yeah. just do it because of they want to do it and show face. And in our spotted segment, Stormzy was recently spotted enjoying a romantic dinner with his rumored new girlfriend, Victoria Monet in London just three months after his breakup with Maya Jama. The rapper and the Love Island presenter confirmed that their split was final, having previously separated in 2019 before reconnecting last August. As they left the Gothia restaurant in Soho, Stormzy appeared content, dressed casually in a black bumper jacket and grey jeans, while Victoria showcased her style in a plunging grey crop top and trench coat. They tried to keep it a low profile, arriving and leaving separately in a chauffeur-driven vehicle. The romance rumors intensified when Stormzy was seen embracing and kissing Victoria at Heathrow Airport, where they looked very affectionate with each other. Witnesses reported that he lifted her off the ground during a hug, indicating that he seems to be in a good place following his split from Maya. Fans have reacted enthusiastically to the news and representatives of both Stormzy and Victoria have been contacted for comments on their blossoming relationship. I'm so happy for Stormzy. Yeah, I, I, eh. I am. Eh. I am kind of happy for him. Like, my own is, everybody how deserves come, love. No, I beg, <laughs> my own is, how come these people, after two, three months, <laughs> next thing they found the guy immediately or they found, I mean, yeah. even Victoria Monet just ended her relationship I don't know, how it, many days I ago? I feel like Hollywood's, relationship is on another level it's not just hollywood the people recently this is our generation once we break up next to is like one lady or one woman is Girl, out there waiting no somewhere. time do you understand me you can see a couple like divorce and the next thing ah, ah okay i want to announce please you guys should respect yes, our privacy yes, yes because they want to announce that okay they're now dating someone, someone else. else that's why they come out to do but that but do you think that they were dating this person before they broke up because it know. happened so fast yeah, right exactly that's what i'm saying like i love them together yeah like, i i love victoria monet she looks so, so cute beautiful. yeah stomp is also i mean but have you seen maya jama though yeah maya jama is I also have, very have, pretty she's too pretty I've, I've and seen. i think maya jama was also in the relationship for a long time enduring mm -hmm. a lot of rubbish from yes Stormzy. from her guy yes and on to our editorial segment, Didi currently awaiting trial on serious charges, including sex trafficking, 
marketing and racketeering made a surprising social media post from behind bars to celebrate his daughter Love's second birthday. Despite his legal troubles, he shared joyful photos of the celebration, expressing his love for her in a heartfelt message. While he's allowed limited contact with family, it remains unclear if he will be able to see his daughter on her special day. Amidst this incarceration, sources reveal that Didi is deeply worried about the well-being of his children, particularly since two of them now have no living parents available due to his arrest. The situation has left the kids in a state of crisis and shock, highlighting the emotional toll this has taken on the family during such a challenging time. All right, and on our new collection, the 40th anniversary of London Fashion Week marked a significant milestone as African designers took the spotlight, showcasing their talent on a global stage. This historic event was made possible through a groundbreaking collaboration between Vanity Hub Africa and London Fashion Week, led by the innovative Lady Ayobami Anima Shao. Her efforts are redefining how Africa is viewed internationally, promoting a cultural exchange that highlights African luxury and creativity. Lady Ayobami's leadership is pivotal in bridging Africa and British culture, celebrating the richness of African artistry. Vanity Hub Africa serves as more than just a fashion platform. It acts as a strategic tool for enhancing soft power and reshaping global perceptions. Through her vision, Lady Ayobami is fostering significant international partnerships and collaborations that elevate African fashion and culture worldwide. And on Spicy or Not, Tyler made a stunning appearance at the Victoria's Secret fashion show after party held at the Crane Club in New York, where she showcased her impressive figure. At just 22 year old, the singer who performed during the show turned heads in a striking outfit consisting of a white satin bra and a matching mini skirt that left little to the imagination. She completed a look with a glamorous multicolored Fox 4 coat draped over her shoulders. To elevate her style, Tyler wore white peep toe high heels and styled her hair with some braids, all while sporting a flawless makeup look highlighted by dark lip gloss. Her presence at the star-studded event alongside models like Alexandra Ambriosio and Adriana Lima certainly commanded attention and added to the excitement of the night. Mm. Tyler has gone so far, yeah. so fast. I mean, it's, it's like it's a year. Tyler's year, it's <sighs> Arya Star's year, it's Thames' year. Thames I mean, year. I said the ladies are killing I love it. in music this I love year. It. They are representing yes. Africa on a global scale. Yes. And they're doing it so, so well. Yes. I mean... When she, it came out that, you know, she was going to headline, you know, the Victoria's Secret show, people, you know, were backlashing. Yeah, they like, were, because I feel like it's too, too, too soon for her to do it. They feel why? like she's not, she's not, she's not, she's not why, why good. Why Africa's I don't know. like this? I don't know. Like, if it didn't happen for you, that doesn't mean it can't happen <laughs> for somebody. They feel like she came into the industry. They feel like she's actually so an industry, industry baby. baby. Yeah. Or industry, like, they planted her. Industry plants. She just came in blue, Grammy, this and that. So they what? really hate, I don't know. I mean, celebrate your own. She's 22 years yeah. old. It's not easy for someone at that age to, you know, climb those whole stairs that yeah. she is doing. I mm -hmm. mean, it's Victoria's Secret we're talking about. Yes. They are very selective of people that they bring, you know, yes, to this show. definitely. So having her is actually an achievement for yeah. us. We should celebrate more than, you know, criticize yeah. her. And I don't she, know. And she please. looks the part, too, so she I don't know. The, yeah, I think she, she like, has the figure, everything, yeah, the look so. and everything. And she killed it. She looked really amazing, <sighs> you know, on the show. So please, Africa, let's learn to appreciate our owner. Stop being jealous, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can never please. Exactly. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV or underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do you have a lovely time. Bye.